I love these. It's that time of day again that you get to see my beautiful swollen face. Oh my gosh, I could not be more attractive if I tried. Uh, so, I'm still forging ahead. I don't know what that means, but I'm doing it. I'm taking my antibiotics, which are... I know a couple of you guys asked what antibiotics I'm taking. A augmentin. Augment. Sorry, the M is hard for me to say. Augmentin. Um, 500 milligrams. I don't know, but they're poison. <sighs> so I'm just trying to keep food in my stomach at all times, which is horrible. I still have a bunch of swelling, you know, under my, obviously you can see here. Um, but you know, nothing horrible, not like it was. Um, it's just mainly like, kind of like, gone down. Like it used to be like all right here. And now it's like, oh my gosh. Don't mind me, Bella. She was hitting my elbow because she's making a little fleece case. Sorry about that. Did not want to make you want to throw up there. Um, but if you got past, like, looking at this, I think you're good. <sighs> um, oh, what did I want to ask her? What did I want to ask you guys? Oh, um, I don't know if you guys, um, most of my pain friends are on antidepressants. Um, because they just kind of go hand in hand. Um, but I, when I, like, from... Sunday till, oh my gosh, maybe till like, I don't know, I don't even know what day it is, almost a week I went without taking my Lexapro, and I take my Lexapro every single day, I have for mm, maybe like two years now, not too long, um, Um, to tell you where. Um, but I have just been in the worst mood. Like, really, I just want to, like, snap at people, and I feel like, I mean, I haven't acted upon it, but it's just not the way I think, and I get kind of, like, a ton of anxiety, and I get, like, more codependent. Like, I just feel like I don't know how to explain it, but I was wondering, like, I didn't think that could happen after being off of, like, pretty low dose after a week, but I don't know, I've never been off of it since I started it, so maybe that is why, or I'm just tired and healing and on antibiotics, antibiotics which makes me really sick, <sighs> but yeah, that's all that's new, um, I am gaining back more of my mobility on my top lip. Still not great though, which kind of scares me, but honestly, after the ordeal I went through, I'm fine with it like, it's like a quirky smile for the rest of my life. Um, no, I mean, I hope it goes back to normal, but they had to do what they had to do. Uh, my jaw is really mostly the pain that's left. Um, because I think I've been clenching a lot, and I've noticed myself, like, holding my mouth open, and pressing on the upside. I don't know if any of you guys go through any of this stuff. You probably are like, what the hell is she talking about? But, I don't know. Every time I seem to talk about stuff, you guys are like, I went through that, and I had this, and I had this. And I'm like, holy crap. Like, okay, I feel less crazy now. Um... Because I literally have been inside for like a week straight. I don't even know what it looks like outside. Um, other than when I went to the doctors. And I don't even remember half those visits. Um, yeah. So leave in the comments if you. What's your experience is with like stopping abruptly with your antidepressant. Which I know like you're not supposed to do. But I didn't have a choice. Because I literally couldn't even get my saliva down. So, medicine was not an option. Um, and now I'm like, 
I do with my Gava pen. I'm like, should I just start taking it again? Or should I wait until I'm done with my antibiotics? Because it's really hard for me to take my antibiotics anyways. I mean, it's hard for me to take pills, period. I take, like, uh, Zofran every day with my pills. So I don't want to do anything extra that'll, like, upset it. But I don't want the system to be, like, all crazy. And I don't want to be, like, mean and, like, think mean thoughts. And then I'll just be, like, because I didn't take my Lexapro or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, just, I, I can't even, like, all these thoughts are going through my head. And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it because it's just not me. Like, I don't act that way. And I'm, like, thinking, like, oh, this person should have done this. And I wish I would have done that. And just, like, I don't know, just negative, really negative stuff. Which I don't want to be any, that's not... I'm not about that life. Anyways, um, I hope that any of that made sense at all. I'm still learning to talk, and you guys will see the joys of me learning how to talk with my flipper in, <laughs> which I'm sure is going to be really great. I'm probably going to slur a bunch. Um, other than that, I'm just going to go play with my hole and neck. It's so fluffy. I'm so fluffy, I could die. Uh, <sighs> I am so cute today. <laughs> yeah, so I make human interactions soon, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. My parents are like so concerned about getting my tooth. And I'm like, honestly, it is the last thing on my mind. Like, if you would have talk, told me a week ago, a week and a half ago, that I was going to have to get my front tooth removed and walk around and be on a camera on YouTube, I would, like, slap you in the face. But after going through what I did, turning into the elephant man, I, they could have taken out all my teeth, honestly. Like, I was just like, duh, sure, take it out. Take whatever you want out. You can take my clavicle bone out for all I care. Just get this out of my freaking face. Um, I think what made me most scared is, like, because I have asthma. So, like, when I think about, like, how much swelling I had, like, around my face. And then when it dropped down to my neck and I literally, like, had no neck. No neck. At all. Um, like, four times as swollen as this is. Um, I get worried about it constricting my airway. So I think that's why I get paranoid. But I just want to know, like, talk to me, guys. I'm so lonely because I can't talk to anybody. But I'd really like to know your experience if you take antidepressants, if you've ever, like, gone off of it for a week and noticed anything. Because I kind of just take took it because like I deal with depression but mainly because of my chronic illness but maybe now I'm thinking like mm, maybe like I do need it to like regulate my mood a little bit um what was that there was another thing I wanted you guys to answer maybe I said it before in the video Tooth flipper. Gosh, I always think of these questions when I turn it on to record, and it's like, mm, I'm not going to remember it because I don't feel like being part of this family called Emily's body. Um, oh, look. Look what I did. So exciting. I wrapped one miniature present and it took every ounce of strength out of my body so that's that's all that's happened to me pretty much in the past week and a half so if you ever feel like complaining about being bored don't come to me about it I organized all my presents and I started Christmas cards. It's just slow going because um, literally like writing one person's address is like exhausting. I don't know why. <gasps> oh, I want to show you guys this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got a card in the mail today. 
and it's for my sister, and um, she's my sister from another mister, but she's my sister, so the same. But it has like a lot of cute like children's line or something. Cause I really don't want, but you know what I mean. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but anyways, um, and it's just the cutest card ever. Look how sweet it is. And it says, "Friendship brightens every corner of the world." Go back. Mm, I'll break your cheek. And then it says, Your birthday is the perfect chance to thank you for being so wonderful and wishing you all life's rest today and always. <gasps> oh, I didn't notice that the first time I read it. And she said, You are always in my prayers. And then she said, hey sis, wow, another year has come and gone so quickly. And another year that I am blessed to have you, not only as my friend, but my sister as well. I mean, it's such a pain in the ass to her. Um, I'm lucky to have her. Birthdays are meant to be filled with lots of laughs. Oh, whoops. Lots of love, happiness, laughter, warm moments, and of course the gifts. Laugh out loud. I hope that yours is filled with those small things. Have a wonderful birthday. I'm like, isn't that so sweet? And then inside, I haven't even texted her about this because I got so freaking excited. And then I started crying hysterically because I can't regulate my emotions now. So, like, earlier I was, like, watching um, bloopers. And I was laughing so hard that I started crying. And I was like, what is going wrong with my body? But inside of it is this really, really, really pretty necklace that I'm in love with. Let me see if I can get it so I can show it to you. Oh, isn't it the cutest? It's like, it's a little butterfly. I don't think it has, it just has like, it looks like there's stones in it, which there isn't. Which is actually better for me because once they start falling out, then it kind of looks junky. So, and it's like a little bit bigger. I mean, it's, but it's still nice and little because I love little jewelry. So, I'm so excited. I love it so much. I have to tell my sister that I got it today in the mail. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. I can't wait to wear it because I really, 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 really love it. And she's just the sweetest. I just am so lucky to have her. I love her so much. And she knows me so well. Like, that is... A necklace I would pick out for myself. <laughs> like I love butterflies, and I'm actually putting gonna be well. If I ever freaking get better, I want to put those like Pinterest like butterflies on the wall that are like 3D pieces of paper. No, anybody? I don't know. Maybe there's something I found on Pinterest. But um, yeah, that's what I, I'm trying not to talk too much. So this will be all the talking I do for today. Otherwise, my jaw really starts to hurt, and my mouth starts to hurt, too. So, I miss you guys, and I hope you're having a pain-free rest of your day. Please leave me comments and just chat with me, and or message me on Facebook, or text me, or you can record private videos, um, and you just upload them on YouTube, and you set them to private, and you just add my name to it, and, um, and then you can share videos that way. And, yeah, so there's, like, all sorts of ways that we can interact and whatnot. I haven't been on Facebook and Twitter too much because of the, all this, but, yeah. I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm sending out X double O's, and as always, I will try to talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!